the next lesson, what happens after you place your inventory order. And here's what we'll be covering. We'll go over some typical timelines from the time that you placed your order with your supplier all the way until it's live and for sale on Amazon. We'll talk about following up with your supplier and your freight forwarder during the manufacturing process. And then we'll learn that there's no such thing as waiting. You have lots to do even while your products are being manufactured. Let's review some typical timelines based upon where you're ordering your products from and how you're having them shipped. If you're importing and shipping by sea, here's what you can expect. On the first day, you place your order and then you pay your deposit, typically 30%. Then it takes about 30 days for your inventory to be produced. On day 31, your manufacturer notifies you that it's ready and you pay the final balance. Then over the next 30 days, your inventory is shipped by sea. On day 63, your inventory arrives at the port and is cleared through customs. Then days 65 and 66, your inventory is prepped and labeled for shipment off to Amazon. Then on days 67 through 68, your inventory is shipped to Amazon via UPS. On day 69, it arrives at Amazon and it's checked in. And then finally, on day 70, your product is live and for sale on Amazon. Of course, this is just an example and these dates may fluctuate, but on average, this is what you can expect from a typical production and shipment. Now let's take a look at the same timeline, but if you're importing by air instead. On day zero, you place your order and pay your deposit. Over the next 30 days, your inventory is produced. And then on day 31, your inventory is ready and you pay the balance. So far, everything's the same. Then between days 32 and 39, your inventory is shipped by air. On day 40, it arrives at the airport and is cleared through customs. Over the next two days, it's prepped and labeled for shipment to Amazon. Then from days 43 through 44, it's shipped to Amazon via UPS. It arrives on day 45 and is checked in by Amazon. And then on day 46, your product is live and for sale on Amazon. Finally, let's take a look at a timeline when you're actually having your product produced in the same country that you're shipping it to. On day zero, you place your order and pay your deposit, usually the same amount, 30%. And then over the next three weeks, your inventory is produced. For some reason, it typically takes less time when producing it domestically. Then on day 22, your inventory is ready and you pay the balance. Then on days 23 through 25, you ship your inventory to Amazon via UPS. On day 26, it arrives and is checked in by Amazon. And then on day 27, the product is live and for sale on Amazon. This is by far the quickest route to getting live on Amazon, but it's also much more difficult to find a domestic supplier usually. Now, between the time that your manufacturer is producing the product and ready to ship it, there's several times you'll want to reach out and confirm how things are going with them. Each one of these different types of messages we're asking you to send is because either myself or someone that we've known has had an issue at some point in the past that delayed their production and it could have been taken care of had they followed up and just checked in with the supplier. So the day after you have sent your order deposit in, you want to follow up and make sure that they've received it and there's no issues with it. Then when they reply, confirm once again the expected production time. Halfway through production, email them again to confirm that they're on schedule and that your freight forwarder has been in contact with them to schedule the shipment. Then about three to five days before your inventory should be ready, follow up again with your supplier and your freight forwarder to confirm that they have a sailing date. When your inventory is ready to ship, ask for pictures of the finished units and boxes. If they look good, then you'll pay the remaining balance. So go ahead and schedule these follow-up messages on your calendar to make sure you remember to send them out. Even though you may have between one or two months or maybe even a little more before your products are actually for sale on Amazon, there's a lot to do in the meantime. In the coming modules, you'll be learning a lot about what you can work on, such as building out your brand assets, such as your website, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and all types of social media channels, performing critical keyword research, which will definitely pay off once your product goes live, preparing your Amazon listing, such as the title, descriptions, the bullets, and other things, and then preparing your product for a perfect launch. Here's what we covered in this lesson. We learned about the typical timelines all the way from production to actually selling your product on Amazon. We learned about the importance of following up with your supplier and your freight forwarder. And we got a brief preview of all the different types of activities that you'll be doing while waiting for your inventory to arrive. So head on over to the next lesson where we're going to wrap up this module and review everything that we learned.